Give a very warm welcome to Shitan Sharma. Thanks, Yuri, and thanks, Mark, uh, for uh, inviting me here. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, it's great to see the audience. Um, I'm pretty active with the Seattle chapter, uh, but we don't get an uh, audience like that and set up like this, uh, so it's pretty inspiring. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, mobile advertising in Asia, what's happening there, what's different uh, from Western Europe and uh, the US market, and if there are some lessons um, from the Asian markets. A little about myself. Um, I uh, have been doing independent consulting for the last seven years, uh, primarily focused on uh, product strategy, intellectual property, and uh, uh, market research. Uh, some of my clients. <laughs> Thank you. Um, some books uh, that I've written, a couple of them are coming out later this year. Um, so, what I wanted to talk about so, uh, initially do the numbers, um, the stats. Uh, go into the ecosystem dynamics of Asian countries, what's different. Uh, look at the five-point framework that we uh, introduced in our book. Um, some case studies, lessons, and um, some future discussion. So starting um, with uh, the numbers, uh, clearly the growth uh, for the next 10 years is going to come from uh, Asia, primarily China and India, which are adding uh, 8 to 10 million new subs uh, every month. Another trend is the difference between uh, the mobile phone user growth and internet user growth. Uh, again, it's just widening uh, every month. Uh, 3G subscriber growth, uh, Japan and Korea are reaching uh, close to 80 and 90 percent uh, penetration, uh, just starting off in um, just at the cusp of growth in uh, Western Europe and in the U.S. market. Asia is still, uh, rest of Asia is still to take off. Uh, in terms of uh, what's happening with actual numbers, uh, the ad revenue is being generated. Uh, this is a chart for Japan. Uh, close to 550 million in revenue last year, but still amounts for uh, just a little over 1.1% or over the overall uh, ad spent. So if you compare Japan, Western Europe, and, and the US market, the three biggest uh, advertising market, uh, in terms of percentage, Japan is the highest um, uh, compared to Western Europe and US. Uh, however, US is the biggest. Um, uh, advertising market uh, followed by Western Europe. Uh, but if you look at the ARPU per year, um, you, uh, Japan has been doing close to uh, $5 uh, or $5.5 per year uh, as of last year. Uh, Western Europe and US close to two and a half. Uh, where the money is going, um, Japan primarily in, in banner ads, uh, same cases with Korea, uh, banner ads display interstitials. Uh, while its messaging is dominating in Western Europe and um, and the U.S. Uh, and search is just starting to uh, take off. Actually, uh, Japan is, uh, is a little bit behind in, in terms of implementing search with respect to uh, Europe and uh, the U.S. market. Uh, before I get into some of the case studies, I think it's important to understand the dynamics uh, of the ecosystem in, in various countries. And uh, especially in Japan and Korea, people uh, or the carriers think uh, mobile phone um, of the future as a lifestyle infrastructure beyond just uh, voice and data. So you can do things uh, like payments and so on and so forth. So it's become part of your daily life and helps you with day-to-day um, -day tasks. Uh, so it, each of these markets, major markets, uh, are different and unique and mm -hmm. should be considered as such. You cannot really bundle every country into just one Asian bucket. Uh, so Japan, Korea, clearly high 3G uh, penetration markets. China, India, the fastest growing markets. Uh, countries like Philippines, where they have the highest uh, SMS usage. Close to 55% of the carrier revenue comes from uh, SMS. Uh, and then each of the other markets, like Indonesia and so on and so forth, they are unique in some aspects. So if you're thinking about these markets, they, you have to evaluate what the ecosystem, local ecosystem is like. Uh, so, for instance, just look at the mobile advertising space. Um, Japan and Korea are unique in the sense they decided that uh, mobile advertising is not there uh, in their DNA. So they part partnered with the biggest agencies um, in the land and formed joint ventures um, and have been successful at it, um, and similarly with Korea. 
China and India are different. Uh, they're big organizations uh, um, which are multinationals um, in other aspects of the industries. Uh, so China Mobile or, or Reliance in India, they sort of own the value chain and have desires to um, have mobile advertising as key part of their own uh, offering uh, to the media industry. Uh, so we have talked about uh, what's important for, uh, for mobile. Um, and I think there are five things that we talked about uh, in our book, and reach is the most uh, well-understood one, how many people you can touch. Uh, targeting and or relevancy, how pure is your reach, how good are your numbers. Uh, engagement, how, how long can you keep somebody engaged um, with, with your ads and beyond that. Um, and what's your super distribution index? You, know, you don't want to reach 10,000 people at the same time. You want to seed the market and let the market take uh, care of um, distribution on its own. And finally, the transactions. Uh, the biggest promise for uh, mobile is um, connecting the ad uh, or the brand impression to the actual sale. Um, in none of the other mediums, uh, you can connect the two uh, so effectively and efficiently. Uh, mobile does allow you to uh, connect them. And if you compare other uh, mobile mediums, uh, sorry, other advertising mediums to, to mobile, uh, it's, uh, it sort of beats them across the board. Uh, however, if you look at the actual reality uh, in two <coughs> markets, Japan um, and, and the US, there's a wide gap uh, in terms of really utilizing all these factors uh, very effectively. So we looked at a bunch of case studies uh, in, our, in our book. Um, so some of them were from, uh, from the Asian market, um, like uh, Dokmo's uh, Toruka and um, Northwest campaign with QR code in Japan, and then Reliance's uh, uh, Cadbury campaign. So I'll just quickly go through some of the campaigns uh, from the Asian market. Um, the Toruka campaign, uh, which essentially uses your NFC in the handset, being used by 55% of the people, uh, allows you to uh, scan at any POS um, uh, your phone and download coupons that you can avail or redeem at any, uh, any store. And also you can send it out. Uh, it's not just for, um, uh, for the purposes of retail. And it spreads uh, very fast this way. Uh, QR codes have been quite popular um, in both uh, Japan and Korea. Um, gets embedded into pretty much all print media. 84% of people have used it. Uh, then idle screen uh, based advertising where you have um, your idle screen and you're, you're pushed the ad based on your preferences, uh, whether in, in, it's in magazines or other uh, pieces of content. And uh, I really think that's sort of where the, the battle will be in terms of online players and, and, and the operators going forward. Um, also, some really innovative business models, uh, like this is the model um, from, from India where as you are sending the SMS, the branded SMS that you got to other people, you actually make money. Uh, and the further down the road it goes, uh, it's, it spreads like a pyramid sc scheme and you can make uh, close to uh, 320 rupees uh, a month. I think one of the most coolest uh, apps uh, or um, use of advertising was uh, I, I saw in Korea in a mall uh, in Seoul where they had these uh, projectors streaming down on, on the floor and you can engage with that um, uh, display. And uh, based on your um, uh, profile or Bluetooth uh, uh, capability, you can get pushed uh, content um, or promotions uh, based on your engagement with the, uh, with the display. So what are the learnings? Uh, you know, clearly, the boom took off when iMode came into picture. And so it was um, tremendously successful. Um, but if you look at uh, other uh, implementations uh, around the world uh, for iMode, it wasn't a success. Uh, and the reasons, uh, in hindsight, are pretty obvious. Uh, technology and business models only work and only transferable if um, you also uh, get the infrastructure in place that made um, the technology or business model successful in a given market in the first place. If you don't do that, uh, it's likely to fail. Actually, it's guaranteed to fail. Um, so even though iMode succeeded in Japan, um, it failed el elsewhere. Even with the 3G penetration um, initially, uh, it failed to take off. And the reason was 
It was available only in a um, few big cities. Uh, the handsets were not at par with the 2G handsets. The pricing and performance was uh, uh, not up to par with the 2G handsets. And so it took a while before it reached 20, 25% uh, mark, uh, and then up to that point when the market were, uh, was per uh, pervasively seeded with uh, 3G, it sort of took off and now it's 80 90 percent. So that phenomena is easy to understand, and so one shouldn't be looking for just uh, importing business models and technologies, but try to understand what made them successful and how it can be replicated in a given market. Uh, so for uh, iMode, content and handsets were, and partners were available before launch. Uh, it's not, it was not an afterthought. Uh, similarly, with, uh, similarly for um, uh, the banking application on NFC handsets, Docomo went ahead and bought a bank. Uh, or for NFC deployments, which has 20, 55% reach uh, today, uh, it didn't happen uh, before uh, Docomo seeded the market with the handsets and, uh, and also put POS in, in place. The other thing that some of the Asian carriers do better is uh, communicate to their customers. Um, they rarely talk about technology in their um, um, advertisements or promotions. They always talk about how does it benefit you and uh, what's in it for you. Uh, and that, um, I think, carriers uh, else, uh, elsewhere in Western Europe and in North America fail to understand that keep talking about UMTS, WCDMA, video, and so on and so forth, which uh, rarely mean anything uh, to the actual uh, subscribers. Uh, so futures, um, I think in order to uh, compete in this space, uh, one has to look, uh, look for uh, competing uh, with the other mediums, not with each other. Um, so you have to think about taking a dollar from the TV medium or the print media uh, rather than taking from another carrier. Uh, and hence, uh, you know, by presenting a united front to the media industry is extremely important. Um, I think also um, our view of what a mobile device is going to change once uh, flexible devices as well as uh, display devices uh, which can project um, uh, are going to come being introduced uh, later this year. And so you can do really rich um, advertising on, on, on these, these phones. It's not just a tiny screen. And one of the most important things is <coughs> giving uh, users the control. And uh, not many companies think about privacy or giving users control as a competitive advantage. They are sort of threatened by uh, the implications, and that's the last thing they want to touch. Uh, but if, you, if a company comes in and says, hey, we're going to respect your uh, uh, privacy and give you the control as to when you want to receive the ads, what type of ads you want, you want to receive, uh, then the user feels empowered. And you will see that very few percent of the uh, population will actually uh, opt out. Uh, I believe that idle screen is going to be the holy grail uh, in, the, in the future. It might take five, ten years before we get there. Uh, but that's, um, and that's where sort of the battle we won and lost. Uh, and then analytics, uh, any company, I think AdMob and Blick have talked about it. Analytics is sort of the heart and soul of advertising. Um, if you look at the traditional way um, research has been done in advertising, it's uh, by surveys and sort of guessing what people are saying or they want. Uh, so the explicit, and we did some research uh, ba based on uh, some of the data uh, provided to us uh, from Australia, and we found that uh, implicit uh, profile matches much better to the user actions, the actual action, than the explicit profile by over five to 10 times. So what people tell you uh, formally is uh, typically 50 to 80% of the time wrong. So you have to look at the actual data to figure out what they want and what uh, they might uh, interact with. Uh, payments, I think, is tied very closely to advertising. So anybody who's thinking about advertising, I think long term has to figure out a payment strategy. Uh, also, the concept of alternate devices. So we, uh, as an industry, have been so focused on uh, just the cell phones as a platform. But I think we might learn something new from different devices which have a cellular connection. Uh, and it's their very special purpose, like uh, Kindle from Amazon, or the PND uh, navigation devices, or the photograph devices, and maybe some, some built on Android. And these will be very special purpose devices, um, maybe subsidized by um, advertising, nothing to do with voice or data uh, communication. 
Uh, we also have to re increase the reach and uh, integrate all the channels across the board. Right now, majority of the reach is in SMS, uh, but in order to get a really reliable um, an effective mobile advertising ecosystem, reach has to increase across, across the board. Uh, this is also something uh, some operators are working on and are capable of, uh, integrating three different uh, mediums, uh, internet, mobile, and, and cable. Uh, so companies like Reliance uh, in India, Vodafone, and uh, AT&T, they have the capability to merge in uh, the three mediums. So you can start a transaction on one channel and finish it off on another, and they're very tightly integrated in terms of uh, advertising. It's still five to 10 years out. And finally, um, I think you learn the most how your kids interact with uh, uh, advertising and medium, uh, and the media. And as such, uh, uh, take into account even the little ones, um, how they interact, learn from that. Uh, uh, I think you'll be well served. So that's all I had to say. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Chetan.